On this episode, we're going to talk about how the Eagles dominate the Giants 28-3. Now they're at 4-2. Are we starting to think about possibly Super Bowl? Definitely playoffs. And did we get our, did we just find our identity? With all that said, we're going to get into that and a lot more. With that being said, you know what to do. Get the music. right now I'm going to say right now we just we, we found something we found something we, we figure out this if our quarterback doesn't turn over the ball our defense stays the way they're playing and we give the ball to Saquon Barkley that seems like that'll be the formula that's going to open up for A.J. Brown Devontae Smith Dallas Goddard, that's the formula. That is the formula for us to winning games. When we run the ball more than we throw the ball, clearly we win ball games. Run the day football, and they're, by the way, two weeks in a row their defense hadn't given up a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Remember how awful they were, were earlier in the season. It's funny. They're starting to play teams. Wow. There it is. They're starting to play complimentary football. When the Eagles under Sirianni have run the ball more, all right, then they throw the football, they're 14-1. 14-1. Well, well, that yeah. blueprint works. When I look at the direction that we're going in, yes, it was the Giants. Yes, it was just the Cleveland Browns. But I really feel we're going in the right direction. You heard what Saquon said at the end of the game. Check this out. We'll move it. There we go. <laughs> well, we need to get that. But that's up to you. Oh, that's the one I, like, I'm going to take out all the starters if they don't score. You're going to let them eat. Sure. Yeah. I promise. I'll listen to you. I want to do it if you want to do it. So I'm going to see the young boys eat. And that's all I'm saying. They're becoming a team. That's, that's, what, that's what a team says. That's what a leader on the team says. When you hear that being said, what else can you, what else do you have to say? This man is showing exactly what needs to be done as a leader. You can tell he loves his team because I don't know nobody that would say something like that against their former team that showed they didn't love him anymore. He went out there and balled. And so at the end of the day, we're looking good. We are looking. We are looking good. We're looking like we're going in the right direction. What do I think we still need? We still need to get a little bit more of Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. And that comes off of if we run the ball. Or we run play, and when we run, run, don't run the ball, we go to play action, those two will be open. The next thing I'm looking at, as long as QB1 does not turn over the ball, we're going to be fine. Yes, he's got to play a little bit better, absolutely, absolutely. But right now, QB1... Jalen Hurst is doing, I like what he's doing. 
He's no turnovers, giving the ball to Saquon Barkley. When he's throwing the ball, every time he's targeted A.J. Brown, especially on a one-on-one, they are perfect. They're 16 for 16. So I like what's going on with there. Now we look at our defense. Our defense is stepping up. Again, I understand. It was just the Giants. It was just the Browns. But again, our defense has stood up. They're getting more pressure, more sacks. Isn't that all we're asking for? Eventually, the takeaways will come. Because Q's out there playing like a dog right now. All our rookies are playing like dogs right now. I like what our defense is doing. I like what Vic Fangio's doing. I like what he's dialing up. Keep the party going. Keep the party going. The big thing again, run more with Saquon. It seems like that's opening up everything. Run the ball. We win the game. I don't know a better formula than that. We know that we know the reason why we're in the position we are in. We're feeling a little bit better, Eagles Nation, because of two six. We're feeling a little bit better, Eagles Nation, because we got number eleven back. We're feeling a little bit better because we got a little bit of swagger on defense. We're feeling a little bit better because QB1 hasn't turned the ball over yet in the last couple games. So we were feeling just a little bit better. We got to keep this momentum going. We got to keep the show going. And finally, I want to say this. Let's go out there, do what we do, and let's go out there and win the ball game. We got the Bengals next. My prediction is easy and simple. I think we're going to win 28-23. Fly, Eagles, fly. Can you see what the level we're on? Fly. Eagles fly. With that being said, I want to thank you for watching the Skyline on YouTube exclusive. And if you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, email us at the one, the number one Skybox at gmail.com. It's me, Michael C., the source of life, over the mic. I have got the coldest panel in the game coming back soon. You already know what to do. Let's make it epic. Go birds. Let's make this epic. If you like this video, just think, why aren't the Eagles in the power rankings in week seven?